What's up guys, it's Sergio here on the very first episode of SV Silverado. So today we're going to be checking out the vinyl wrap from Vivid ID that goes on the actual Silverado. I went ahead and did the front grille already. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I went ahead and did that one. So today we'll be going over how to do it. It's pretty easy, it took me about 10 minutes. Um, all you need is an uh, X-Acto knife, some rubbing alcohol, some wipes, and a hair dryer, preferably some ghetto stuff like uh, Revlon. I don't know how old this is, but we're going to use this today. Um, this is uh, the supplies right here. So first, get your rubbing alcohol. Dab, dab. close to the emblem don't get it on your paint don't rush it get it nice and dry clean all the area that you're about to put the sticky stuff on first I'm getting the outside so I don't get all messy if you hear the squeak it's working So that should be good. Now you're gonna size up your vinyl, make sure you got the right one because sometimes I order shit the wrong size and it's all bad. Anyways, you don't wanna peel this off before you know the size. So that looks good. I'm gonna peel this off, starting with the edges. Size. And what I usually do so it doesn't snap back at me and then stick to itself I just hold it right here on the edge and I stretch it start with the top work my way down and like I said this is vivid ID I ordered it for about uh, 12 or 13 bucks off Amazon so it's fairly cheap and it's easy to do so once you see it on there kind of crease the corners with your nail so next you grab your hair dryer nice then you go ahead and no, I'm just kidding. High slightly, but we're just gonna work at it slowly. So what this does is it's shrinking it down to the actual emblem, so you ain't got no air bubbles. Once you kind of shrink it down, you just get your thumb. It's gonna be hot, a little hot, so watch out. Don't burn your thumb. And just push. Push up or down, but make sure it's getting the texture. Ten hours later. Oh, we're back here. We pretty much got it all, all down. If you guys get a slight air bubble in there, don't panic. Just if it's if it's a huge huge thing, just stop blow drying immediately and just peel out whatever side it is and push that bubble out slowly. Like I said, it isn't something you should rush. It takes about 10 15 minutes. If it takes you longer than that, stay in school, please. So now, the exacto knife. So you're going to make sure you get right over this little ridge right here and just dab it slowly but make sure you get that outer lineature. Don't go get that in, in your lineature. I mean, unless you want that golden outline on there, which you can do. I'm not sure how nice it'll look. 
once again be sure to get that little outer ridge there we go and just slowly cut across it once again outer ridge and if my nails are being dirty I just got off work I will cut them after this video outer ridge once again and so on and so forth Okay, now that you're done with your exacto knife, you're going to put that down, and you're going to start peeling. Making sure, once again, you do it slowly. Making sure everything is coming out exacto, because that's what the knife is for. Bam. So now, there you have it. Turn the hair dryer back on. And then you get your edges. So what I'm doing here is I'm tucking everything. All the outer ridges, I'm tucking them. There should be a little, little space under every little ridge right here. See how that's coming down? Excuse your nail, should be fine. Tucking, tucking, tucking. After you're done tucking, hit the both side one more time. Thumb, boom, boom. Do it all the way down. Get it nice and hot. Run it all the way up. Voila, you're done. So there you have it guys. That's how you black out the bow tie on your Chevy Silverado. Uh, subscribe. See you guys next week. Uh-uh-uh.